Hi, my name is Brandon Gracie. I'm a high school math teacher. Uh, we're going to model a, uh, we have some sinusoidal motion here that we're going to write an equation for. And we're going to use Desmos to help us with this. So I have a bunch of points that we uh, have measured. So at, uh, we measure uh, zero degrees. There is uh, some measurement, let's say the height of something that's uh, traveling in circular motion uh, is at 9.25. At 24 degrees, we're at 10.63 and so on down this long list. And so to solve this, to, to find an equation, we're going to write uh, sort of a generic form of the equation using some of the parameters that are available. Now we're not going to use all of them. There's one more, which we might write B. We would write in front of the X or in front of the X minus D here. That would be for a, um, uh, to, to change the period. And we're not going to do that uh, in this example because we don't need to. Uh, so what we are going to do though is we have these other three. A is uh, a change in amplitude, D is going to be a horizontal shift or translation, and C is a vertical shift or translation. So the first thing is we're going to move this up and I can see that oh we can't quite get high enough here. That looks like I'm a little bit below the edge of what I want so let's increase the top of this slider here to something well, that looks sort of middle-ish right about there. Something like that. And let's change our amplitude. Okay, we're getting pretty close here, but it looks like everything's off a little bit. I'm a little bit to the left of where I want to be. See, all of these points are hitting to the right of my curve. So I need to move my curve to the right. That means I need to increase this D value. And Desmos, again, gives uh, values only up to 10 here. So let's, let's change it to something like 90. I don't think we need to go quite that far. All right, we're getting pretty close now. I think we're a little low because we're, these points are above here and pretty close on there. So let's, uh, okay, that's looking pretty good. Looks like I'm on the inside here and here, which means if I move this down just a bit, that's our, my amplitude there. That's looking pretty good. I think my points are a little to the right still. So let's adjust the D value, the horizontal translation. All right, I think I got them pretty much right on now. So I have a point there, uh, 0, 9.25, 24, 10.63. Let's see how I was doing, 24, 10.63. Okay, it looks like I've got it pretty, wet, pretty much right on there now. So now to read our equation, we have y equals 3.5 times sine of x minus 30 degrees, and that at the end plus 11. So that's the equation that uh, models this curve here. And then what you could use uh, is the remainder of the curve here, I'm just zooming out, to predict the motion at a, at a given time later on. Uh, thanks very much.